What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of JNB Tuning. Well, in today's episode, we are going to work on several vehicles here guys. Um, as you guys probably have noticed in the last episode, we have the Golf R. Uh, just finished the old change, the A service on this baby. Um, given that we have driven the Acura MDX uh, to Seattle not too long ago, it's needing also the A1 service and uh, similarly the pilot is going to be needing an A1 service as well in the process. So anyways guys without further ado, let's go! Well guys, we got the pilot on the hoist now and uh, it's actually the first time that we're putting this baby up on the hoist here and uh, the total weight is about 5,000 or 4,500 and our uh, hoist here is uh, the four post lift can, can handle up to 9,000 so we should be fine. Uh, we, in fact, we actually have done the Acura MDX not too long ago and it's pretty much the same weight I would say. Uh, given the uh, rear differential and the whole nine yards for the all-wheel drive system Definitely, it's a lot heavier than most of the cars here. So anyways, we'll uh, Lift this baby up and see uh, how well it does. So anyways, we'll get the job going Lifted now. Uh, I didn't realize that I have the uh, the the kayak rack on the top there, guys. And uh, yeah, we got about a half an inch or or so uh, off the ceiling there. And uh, at least we were able to lock the the uh, the platform in um, enough to actually crawl underneath. It's better than me working from the ground. I guess I could probably get a uh, my stool and, and and do the work that way and the underneath there. Without the rack, definitely I would have. Uh, we would be able to lift this up even more. Uh, so anyways. All right, folks, time to drain this baby out. We got our funnel underneath here. It's always the fun part, making sure we don't get any drip. The beauty of having the funnel you could pretty much just drop the uh, the bolt down here and uh, let it drain and drain away. Yep, awesome. Well, guys, it's my first time actually to uh, see underneath the uh, um, Honda Pilot. Um, first time to actually leave the underbelly of it at this point. I've never lifted this car this far and. Uh, I'm just amazed on how well the body of the car is at this point. There's no uh, through and through type rust except some of the major parts here, which easily is scrubbable. Um, yeah, everything here, pinch weld is doing really well. A few spots right here, but nothing through and through, something that we can scrub nicely. Um, and uh, the point of, uh, Having a lift as well as that uh, this winter, I'm now able to do further um, spraying of the under coating. Um, I use like, as, as you guys know, I use the um, fluid film uh, yearly on some of my vehicles and uh, on the pilot. Uh, I, I, I tried doing underneath here once in a while, but not the full underbelly. Uh, but this time I'll be able to apply the fluid film to pretty much uh, prevent the car from rusting even further, given that nothing is major at this point. So it's going to be nice as uh, you guys can see, it's, it's nice and, and clean underneath here, nothing major. Well, I guess the most part that I know of that it's actually rusted pretty bad is the um, crossbar in the back here. It's a prone issue on this pilot's uh, the Acura MDX is actually aluminum. Uh, they have aluminum on the back here. 
since this is the rear where everything is being splat on in the winter time like the salt and all that as you guys can see this is pretty much rusted out and through and through and it's it's easily replaceable uh, at some point i'll be replacing that um it's the crush bar and fairly dangerous because you know that one's supposed to be what you need to actually you know secure yourself in terms of collision so that's definitely need to be replaced in the future and the other side there wow it's nicely crusty so yeah hopefully it's nothing bad on the uh, the chassis itself there and uh hopefully at some point we'll replace that yeah awesome just want to show it to you guys Well, as for our uh, suspension, guys, I know that our end links needs to be replaced soon. Um, I could see a moisture here as well. And at the same time, our uh, bushing for the sway bar here. There's some movement there. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but... <clears throat> right there. So definitely the bushings are getting loose now. This needs to be taken care of. The lower control arm, we get some cracks underneath here, so most likely we will be uh, replacing that. So, uh, oh boy, ah, it's so noisy, sorry, apologies for the noise. Um, but yeah, this one definitely needs to be replaced soon. We've been hearing some clanking here and looseness on the drive, so uh, in terms of the um, uh, what do you call this thing? Um, yeah, I just replaced this recently, so that uh, should be fine. Um, anyways. We got our bolt back in with a new uh, crush washer. Uh, time to uh, drain our, or undo our filter. The filter on these babies are always um, tucked in underneath here. oil filter um, for the Pilot and the Acura. They're pretty much the same uh, filters here, guys. Uh, the uh, the washer is inside, inside here, so, and this one here is somewhat dictated in the outside, but. Well, quite a change of weather, guys. Uh, it started raining here and uh, it got dark in the process here yeah the pilot is pretty much done here we're just waiting for the rain to settle the wife has taken the uh, acura for uh grocery shopping and uh we're waiting for this the acura to come back so we can finish the all the work needed well guys it's gotten so cold out there uh and i'm literally starving so uh i am going to make myself some uh, sandwich here the wife makes this awesome potato salad and uh, i like to actually um toast some bread with cheese and uh, put on some of that uh, salad that you made and potato salad mashed potatoes and uh, it's really yummy so That looks yummy. Go guys, cut it in half. That looks yummy. Well, this is so good guys. This potato salad is amazing. Um, it has a, um, not just a mayonnaise, it's Japanese mayonnaise. It's so good. It's one of my favorite mayonnaise that is um in fact if you guys want to see how it looks like this is the mayonnaise you need in the process that's the japanese mayonnaise is the best 
is the best of the best, that's for sure. the garage door here for now just the main bay Chester is just relaxing here yeah hmm. they're getting a little cold here guys See if I can do some fixing around the garage while I'm waiting for the Acura to come back. Hi, Chester. You're here to help, Daddy? Oh, good boy. Give me company, right? Well, guys, I was hoping that the rain will stop on us here, but I guess we gotta continue. Finally, the um, MDX just came back. So, uh, time to get this baby all changed as well. All right, time to drain the Acura MDX. Similarly guys, we'll do exact same thing. This Honda and Acuras are, are pretty similar in a lot of ways. Uh, so, nothing different there guys. It was a little hot here, so gotta be careful. The wife just came back from shopping, so a little, a little toasty, that's for sure. Well, guys, the Acura deck is all in, um, pretty much here. We're settled, and uh, might as well do the work. Uh, as usual, as I've, you've seen in the past video, when I've done the Acura MDX oil change. Uh, it's pretty much the same as the pilot and uh, so uh, yeah, we'll get it going. Much like the uh, pilot guys, I just want to give you guys a quick tour on how the underbelly of this baby here. Um, it's uh, a lot prettier for sure than uh, the pilot or the other vehicles, uh, especially the the old ones there. Um, yeah, it's uh, spick and span, that's for sure, being that it's only a three-year-old car. So similarly, this winter, now I'll be able to go underneath here and do some uh, protection um, with the fu flu fluid film. So that's going to be the idea, guys. <sighs> See, as I mentioned to you guys, the uh, cr crush bar for the Acura is a lot better than the Pilot as it's it's aluminum. And I, I believe they have done that because the fact that they know having a metal there would just rust through as, at some point in time. Man, this car is just solid. No rust whatsoever. Uh, very differential right there um yeah a lot of the welds guys i've been putting um some protectants there so that way it doesn't rust all the way through so yeah it's very cared for so looking pretty that's for sure this is not as uh, solid as the golf r how clean the golf r is but for a car that we actually use in the winter time it's definitely is 
clean. So I want to show you guys the system here. Um, basically, we have marked every vehicle on the hoist uh, lock here. Basically, the Sunfire, that's the level where the Sunfire is, is pretty much almost the second last. And the Golf R is the next one level and down. And as well as the uh, Acura MDX and the Odyssey. Uh, my my brother-in-law's Odyssey basically is pretty much the same height as the Acura MDX and uh, the pilot due to the fact that we have um, That uh, rack on the top there. Uh, that's pretty much how high we can get the pilot um, Going so yeah, as you can see that's way from the floor and that's the level of all the uh, uh, Where the locks are for uh, where we can actually uh, secure uh, each vehicle in the process so that way I don't have to guesstimate every time I lift all the cars one by one that is Well folks, we're all ready here. We got our plug in place with a new uh, cr Crush washer and as well as our brand new filter um, I tend to go all out guys with this and uh, I replace my filter every single time I don't bother just changing the oil without uh, changing the filter at the same time so anyways i'm saving money already doing all this by myself so parts are not that expensive well guys as usual um here's our new filter here so basically what i like to do is this type of filter i always try to put oil on this before installing it in so basically just enough to have something on there and then lubricate the um, the seal here. And always make sure, especially if you put in a, an aftermarket, um, that uh, you know that the actual rubber itself, the seal, doesn't come off and live um, or s get stuck on the mount. Uh, you make sure that that's not there when you put this back in place, because or else you won't be able to seal it properly, and uh, you'll be surprised how how fast the oil will come out of there once uh, you start the, start the car up, so. Well, much like the Honda Pilot guys, is a similar thing where that uh, oil is, sorry, or oh, the filter is, it's just, just a mess. That's basically it, guys. It's the way they have pretty much set it up there. Um, it's stuck in right behind the wheel there. And uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, it is, what it is, I guess. What a mess. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to top up the oil. Um, we need a 0W20, and this car takes, with the brand new filter, takes up uh, 5.4 liters of oil. So we're gonna basically pour all this five liters here and then we'll top it up from uh, another batch here as well just to make sure we got the proper level in place so Sierra W20 in we go all time to start the car up guys Let's check. The level is, uh, of course, we probably need an additional uh, 4.4 4 liters there, but uh, we don't want to over oil the engine in the process, guys. Well, guys, time to wrap it up from here. MDX is pretty much done. And as always, again, don't forget to subscribe like and comment uh and the bell as well is very important so that way you can get notified for all the videos i have going forward so anyways guys as always peace out